three lim images in three different layers. Now they're on top of each other, so and because I have a little bit of a gradient feather, you can see them appear as I add visibility to them. So we want to now add animation to each of these layers. In this case, I usually try to drag my layer panel out so I can see it at all times. You know, there you can see in your links panel all of the names of the files you've placed. So I want to add animation to, say, my first layer. So I'm going to uncheck the visibility to all the other layers. I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to add, use my animation panel here. If it will open, my computer again is slowly, well, not so slowly anymore, dying. Ah. Oh, there we go, animation. So it, um, in this name um, window here, it will just give you the name if I click on any other one. Oops. It will. Uh, the name of the file will appear in this panel. I start to get really confused. I like to just use the names of the layers. So in this case, I, you can change the name of the file here. So I'm just going to change it to one since it's layer one. And I'm going to um, use the drop down preset animation. And I'm just going to have a fade in. You can do anything you want. I mean, you can have a rotate, and when I rotate to 800 degrees, and you can see a little preview here, and you can you know, move left, and this little line will appear to show you how the image is going to move in from the left, you know, grow, it's going to expand and grow, um, you know, spring, it's going to be a little shake, smoke, what does that do? really just kind of disappears in the smoke. You know, you can do, there's lots of different options here. Spin, let's just for now, just do a simple fade in. And I'm gonna um, use the drop down here for properties. I wanna make sure it's a little bit slow, so I'm gonna um, choose two seconds. Now, this is where we wanna be really careful, this visibility area. So because this is the first image, I wanna make sure the hide until animated is unchecked, but I wanna, hide it after animating. And you're gonna see what that looks like when we start animating all three of them. So hide after animating, but keep um, hide until animated unchecked. So let's go to the second layer, click on it. And again, I'm gonna change the name of this to two because it's layer two. I'm going to have the preset as just a fade in. I'm gonna change the duration to about two seconds. And because it's the second image, and I've already seen the first image, I don't wanna see this as well at the, with the first image. So I wanna hide until animated and hide after animating. Again, for the third, click on it. I'm gonna choose this to three, because it's layer three. I'm gonna have it fade in again. Duration about two seconds. Oops. And this one I wanna hide until animated, but I do not want to hide after animated because it's the last one we see. So I want that image to stay there once animated. Now in all of these panels, there's gonna be this little preview button. Again, with timing, it's always gonna be there, media. Any of the animation panels are gonna have that ability, even buttons are gonna have that ability for you to click and preview. And this separate little window opens and it's very small, so I always just expand it. Make it big. If you need to see it again, just press. Now, I can see what I did wrong. Because these two other layers are invisible, and I didn't um, regain the visibility, the preview will honor that. So you have to make sure all your layers are visible. Baby one, baby two, fade in, baby three stays there. Perfect.